Hello and welcome. And today I'm going to be talking about something off the playing field. And I get asked this question quite a bit, particularly obviously from parents. And I think it this type of topic really justifies me spending a few minutes and offering some, some thoughts, opinions, and insights. And the question is, do academics truly matter with regard to college athletic recruiting? And obviously we're talking baseball. First, before I go any further, I really want to be upfront and say thank you so much for all those people that are subscribing to the channel. It's free. I'm, I'm hoping to be able with 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. And if you can keep spreading the word, hitting subscribe, if you're a new, if you're finding your way to the channel for the first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, as well as that little notification bell that tells you whenever I release new content. And also, please hit the like button. The like button, the like button. The like button is a sign to the YouTube algorithm that my videos are hitting uh, and resonating with viewers. So please do that. Academics. You know, a lot of athletes will ask me, do my grades really matter? Parents will say, are the transcripts really being looked at? And a simple answer to that and an obvious answer to that is yes. And most college coaching staff adhere to one simple rule or adage and that is how you do anything is how you do everything you know we've heard from college coach after college coach and they all talk about the significance of academics because it shows that you have attention to detail time management skills what you think of yourself what you expect from yourself and this is very very important when you begin to understand the landscape, it's smaller and smaller. And so we look for areas that can separate ourselves as potential student athletes within college athletics. And let me tell you, the biggest one is academics. Cannot stress this enough. Does this mean you must get 100 on every test? Do you have to have a, a 4.5 GPA? Do you have to have a, a perfect ACT or SAT? SAT score? The answer to that obviously is no. But you do have to strive to be the best version of yourself in the classroom, in the hallways, a, a really good representative of your high school because that shows that these college coaches can trust you as the complete student athlete to be a representative not only of their baseball program, but more importantly, of the university or college that you are looking to attend. And so one of the things I will always say to prospective student athletes is, if you take the ACT and the SAT, yes, I know it's hard, but take it a few times. It shows determination. It shows that you're in, in really engaged and involved in your academics as much as you are as you are as an athlete. The next thing is, Study habits, time management. Time management is an integral part of being a college student athlete. It's probably one of the most biggest parts of your foundation as a college student athlete is understanding not to be uh, a procrastinator. You understand being proactive and not reactive with regard to your academics or your athletics. And so what I always try to tell student athletes, Set aside, time, set aside time to be a study uh, a student, you know, make sure you have your, your homework assignments, attention to detail to the best of your ability. If that's 3.2 and you're busting your tail to get a 3.2, college coaches respect that. You know, you, you're looking for a letter of recommendation from an academic, from a teacher. Get that teacher that you got that B plus in and you really worked hard to get that B plus. That shows that you are really a worker and strive to be the best version of yourself on and off the field. These questions, I believe, will help you become a better, more highly recruitable student athlete, understanding what college coaches are truly looking for. And absolutely, academics is first and foremost with regard to almost every single coach, because again, how you do anything is how you do everything. And so if you are satisfied being a C or D student, always remember, I used to say this to my sons all the time, a C student, you are the best of the worst and the worst of the best. Keep that in mind.